Hello, 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 hello. It's Mystery Monday. Hi there. Hello. Hey, Quirky, how are you? Welcome to Mystery Monday. Martin's in his kilt, and we're gonna teach you how to do a cool craft. <laughs> but you probably have this stuff around your house. You probably do. Hi, Quirky. <laughs> I, put a, <clears throat> I did put a little list out. But I did not make a little TikTok about it. On the live event, I had the list. So hopefully, um, we're doing great. Well, I'm sore. <laughs> I had a fall today. But um, uh, it'll be better before I'm married again. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs> hey, Lisa. Tonight, we're going to make something super duper cute. As you know. Hi, Lisa. Hopefully, we because of you we had nothing to do with it really it was you doing all the likes we have hit a million likes yeah i've got my kilt on. Uh, stand up honey show them your kilt i'll get martin to keep standing up for it how cute is it honey your kilt's so cute um i wish you'd wear it every day but um <laughs> Because of <clears throat> getting a million likes, I had said if somebody, if people send us self-addressed stamped envelope, I'm going to send your work of Thank art. Thank you. And um, it could be this size. It could be, would you hand me that, my love? The whole thing. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It could be whatever size envelope you send me, I will send you this. Um, I, I will send you a piece of art. So I'm thinking, I'm sending out pieces of art, hopefully all over. And um, I want you to have something to display your art on. It'll all be original. It's not going to be something printed out. So tonight we're going to make these super cute easels. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to make this one. It's made out of paper <laughs> magazine rolls. That's for me and all shredder jam. <laughs> um, you see what I asking. see, honey. I was ignoring. <laughs> I PG G rated show, babe. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, uh, this, <laughs> hey Madeline, this is something you can make out of magazine rack, uh, out of magazine rolls. I'm going to show you that how to do that, and um, so you'll be you'll have a, a cool way to display your art for free. These little easels, I. I can't even tell you how many of them I have made. I have made so many. <laughs> I sell them in the studio. I don't ever ship these because they're fragile. <laughs> they're definitely fragile. Um, well, it's pretty sturdy though. I just made this one. But I'm going to take you through the process of making it, making a lot of different kinds of them, different sizes. Hopefully, you can see all this. And if you uh, hopefully. When we're doing a live event, you look at it and you see, oh, I know Shredder. <laughs> it, it, it's a, they call it um, a true Scotsman. Definitely does not wear anything under his yep. kilt. That's just how it is. <laughs> uh, but um, anyway, the um, uh, these little easels are a great way for you to display your artwork on or, you know, artwork that you make that I make and they're just fun to make and you can make I make little fairy ladders like this too so I'm going to show you the little techniques and Morton has been um, making paper rolls for us and I'm going to get these so you can see these oh that's good honey can you still read the screen yeah okay <clears throat> great so on our live events um, whenever you see them on, you'll, I'll give a list for Mystery Monday, what you want to bring. Now, this was hot glue. Uh, I'm going to show you a little hack here. This one, I had put the glue on, and if you can see where the glue sticks out like a sore thumb, you can take a Sharpie and just color it, or you could color that a color. You could cover it with raffia. Um, you could put moss on it. You can do so many different things. But just a little Sharpie disguises the glue <laughs> and just makes it look like little black little black dots. Um, and you can see on this one, I purposely didn't color it 
so you can see kind of where I'm gluing at. Uh, yay, you set an alarm so you wouldn't miss. And this, the replay of this will be on um, our YouTube channel forever and ever. Okay, without any further ado, I'm going to set this back here. And honey, you take over reading, and I'm going to take over making. The first thing you want to do is get yourself a stick. Are you sure you don't need any second tools? I'm positive, babe. And I'm going to show you how I like to cut. Just take mine. I'm going to show you how I like to do this. I like to just, this, this is, um, this is well, well dried right here. So I have a big old branch. Eh. <laughs> yeah, I don't want my scissors. I just want to get it into a manageable piece. Pretty Okay, so. Oh, thanks for the roses. So, um, I'm going to break, I'm <clears> going <throat> to start breaking this up. And what I want to do is break up stick sizes, different stick sizes that are similar. And these, the pieces that are real skinny, you can use them too. Priscilla's Heinz 57, somewhere in a lineage. She does have yes, Scottish ancestry. I have like 17% Scottish. Definitely, oh, I have Scottish. As well. Roses and pretzels. Hey, for pretty. Pretty. Okay, Thank so you. I'm going to take, <clears throat> you can take a measuring, you can make these as big or as little as you want to. I'm going to make these little, so I'm going to take and I'm going to break three little pieces off. Thank you. And this is a, this is a wispy, these are wispy ones. Wispy Bye, ones will still work. And I'm going to do that again to this. I'm going to let that one like that. That one's just kind of interesting. And this, they get stronger when they get to the bottom. And keep all oh, your little, balloons. keep all your little doodads. Keep all your little doodads. So this one, we'll make this one be about this. We need three pieces about the same height. Okay, so we'll start with this. Three pieces about the same height. No, she no. got me to put the kilt on because we got a million likes <laughs> last night, Jamie. A million likes? And I'm wearing the casual version rather than the Bonnie Prince Charlie version. <laughs> the full, the full get-ups, Bonnie Prince Charlie, with a waistcoat and the black dress jacket, rather than this casual one. So I'm gonna decide these two sticks. Yeah, it's Flower of Scotland. Sorry. These two sticks are for my, um, for my front. So I'm gonna take, and you kind of, can you see this here? You're gonna take, and you're gonna make an A. I'm gonna do it upside down so you can see it the right way. And what you want to do is make sure um, that these two legs, because that's what's going to stand up. And see, these aren't, the one's a little bit taller. Um, and I just put, I can see a line here on my cardboard. So I'm just putting these right to the line. So this will be step one, is getting this, getting this front together. So I'm gonna take a little piece of my, a little piece of my whatever stick, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on both bits of that. Just put it there, like a tall A. See this, like a tall A. Now I have some of these little wispy ones that I'm gonna use, but. Since this is going to be the front, I don't want anything sticking out from here, or it will impede our um, our presentation of our little of our little little easel. So I'm going to take this one. This just helps make it stronger. I'm going to put this one right underneath it. Again, you can use moss, use raffia, use whatever you want to to firm these up. I could put, um, I could put another stick going right down the front if I wanted to. I'm not going to. I don't need to. I think I am going to make a third little going over though. I think that'll look pretty. Yeah, that's what I usually do, Susie. I very rarely wear the full outfit. <laughs> Honey, tonight I think all the questions are going to be about your kilt. Mm -hmm. So up here, we have this little middle <clears throat> piece going over now, and that's pretty solid. 
But up here, I'm gonna take some of these little doodads that have fallen off, and I'm gonna put them up, up at the top. Hi there, Sprouts. Thank you, Lisa. See how that is up at the top? And just think about building the front of your easel first. That's all we're building, just the front of the easel. And I see some of these little sticks that I broke up. They have such personality. Oh my gosh. But I want to get two fairly straight ones to go across the top. Um, let me set my glue stick down here. Let me show you this. I think, honey, was this to hold a curling iron or something in? I don't know. Boy, that's it's cool. silicone, and I use that for my hot glue. But um, we want to get a stick for going across the front to hold our artwork. And actually, we're going to need two of them. And we're going to want them to be kind of, uh, well, as straight as we can get them. But now this is important because we have to make sure we're standing correctly. <laughs> So it's not wobbly. Now you can you can put this put those sticks on the front now, but I like to actually get yourself standing first. So this stick here has a bit of um, see how the top of it's roughed up. I'm gonna take I'm gonna put glue on here, nice little glob of glue, and then I'm gonna stand it where it's right kind of wedged right in there. And you want to space it so it's um, middle, just the middle of this, the middle of these two front legs. You just want to make sure everything's standing nice and straight. And uh, now I'm going to firm up the back. And I'm going to do that with all these little skinny sticks. So I'm just going to snap. And I have found, this, this works best for me, to put my glue on here and then put it to where I want it. Thanks, Corky. They just shared the live with more than 10 people. Thank you. This live will be on YouTube later. And this one feels like it's kind of standing up straight. I should have maybe, when it when this cools, when it cools, I'm gonna, this stick in the back, it should be a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter because it'll lean then. It, so I'm gonna just... Scissor. It's Mystery Monday because it's a mystery of what we're gonna make. You don't know till it's time. I like surprises. So this I'm gonna do the same and see how it has this little, um, little, oh, I'm gonna have to little keep notch here. And doing. <laughs> I told you that. Yeah, can you see it? I can't read anything, can you see? Morton and the kilt. Morton and the kilt. Look, look, looking awfully sharp. Morton. I've got the ski and doing. Well, <laughs> uh, you can because people are showing all crazy things. I've got the ski and doing my sock okay. with uh, antlers form. All right. So now I'm going to take this little piece and go to the other side. Because we want to we want to just make this super firm. Hi in Washington. And these, these really do last. I have some that Thank I you. made... I have some of these that I made when I lived in Scotland, and they still work. Now, um, in a perfect world, you could take little pieces of raffia, little pieces of moss, wrap them around all these little joints to hide the glue, but you can also take a Sharpie and cover your glue, color your glue black. <laughs> and I like to always pull off all these little wispy things. I think that's what... Your spider's webs. Yeah, the little spider webs. I like to pull them off. Thank you. Okay, so we have our A in the front, our weird A in the front. We have the back. The back is, is now it's leaning back. Our art won't fall off. Um, have you ever made beast, little bistro chairs out of shampoo? Yes, that, definitely. I love making many things. And she's made birdhouses out of the <laughs> wine corks. Yes, and when we get up into the loft, the, little, the loft part is going to be all mini making up there. Thanks for sharing that. We might start doing mini Mondays <laughs> where I'm just making mini things up there. So now here, I want to I want to put where I want to put my holder for my easel. And um, I'm going to just turn it towards me. Oh, that means I have to stand up again. Does it stop <laughs> me to see me in the gill? 
it's like a yo-yo. So I'm gonna take uh, this. That's, that's the kilt. I'll start doing it again. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put one little blob here and one little blob here. And you can use pencils and everything like anything. If you've got, if you've got like you know a old pens, worn, worn out fe felt pens or a yes. pe pens, pencils, anything like that. The tartan straws. is called Flower of Scotland. It's the national straws. rugby team's tartan. So we have our one here, and now I'll try, I'll put a little picture on here. Put a little painting on here. But it's not quite thick enough to hold it. And the one side's leaning down. So you want to adjust, adjust, adjust the front of your easel. Thank you. But we have to make that easel double thick. See how that one has the two little boards, there are the two little twigs on it. This one, which that one I put a lot of beefed up on that You've got one. front piece as well to stop it falling Yeah, off the floor. that one, that one has two. Yeah, I've got the socks as well with the flashes and the ski and do. That one has the two. I don't know how I would show them that. <laughs> don't show them that. We'll give you, we'll give you a kilt tour at the end. Just. Keep your kilt on. We'll, yeah, we'll got, give you the kilt tour. I've got the rustic sporing with the antlers, <laughs> uh, hot, the, the deer antler, ski and do, and uh, sock flashes, and the uh, kilt, the okay. uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie shoes. I'm put this one on here. <clears throat> and they, they're beautiful for holding your art. And they're so cute to just have sitting around. I have a lot of people get but these you can, you can even use, uh, uh, what do you try them? Things like chopsticks and uh, oh uh, yeah, chopsticks skewers, work really good. Chopsticks, skewers, uh, toothpicks, and everything like that too. But although they're a wee bit short, the toothpicks. Uh, you can do toothpicks, but this one I want a, another really straight, thicker one. So I'm gonna go back to the branch. Where's my big branch? I'm gonna play it somewhere. Yeah, it fell. Peter Ridge is seeing your art's amazing. And you, thank you. And you can make these. Oh, it's just out of my reach. You can make these any size. I have made these any size. Every size. I like the rustic look like of the twigs. This, like a big, big stick can make them. But I'm going to get one of these branches. This one's nice. It has not nice straight ones. These are dry. These are on top of our forest. <laughs> oh, there's a good little stick. Yeah, it is. It's, All uh, these little it's, branches. It's the casual outfit for my kilt. I used the, the kilt for my Bonnie Prince Charlie outfit, uh, like a casual stale shirt Honey, and jacket. Should, one time you should put on your Bonnie Prince Charlie. Does yeah, it's a woolen kilt, yeah. Okay, so I'm just breaking this thing down. Because I want to show you down here. Sometimes you get on your sticks. Sometimes you get this. If they're being tricky, you've got to... Uh, you can use secateurs or a really good heavy pair of scissors. Oh. oh. Big okay, columns. these are, these are too, these are too tough for me to break. Yeah, do you want secateurs? No, I have plenty of, plenty of, plenty of little ones now. I was looking for little straight ones. The thicker ones, he says secateurs, we say, um, what do we say? Shears. Oh, no, no. Hey, the... garden clippers. Okay, so this is a really nice straight one, and it's thick, so I want to put this one right on top of this one see that i don't want to put it up here don't put it above it put it on top of this one so what i'm going to do is take my glue and i'm just going to put a couple little globs going Thank you. over enjoy my soul i prefer okay, it when priscilla I... helps because i'm hopeless with the camera i'm gonna <laughs> you're good honey so we're gonna stand that one up on here. Can you see that? It's a double stack. Just hold it for a minute. So now we have a nice little ledge. Shredder jam says pruning shears. 
Pruning shears, Second that's tools. the word. That's the word. Now we have a nice little ledge to sit our art on. How adorable are they? Do you love these? Are or you going to make these? Or it's doing, uh, you need the smaller one with a bit so as it sits between yeah. the legs, sit between the bottom of it. And you can, you can firm these sides up. You can get as decorative as you want to with putting things around these. They're adorable. Um, so, uh, oh, hey, Lainey. Mel says, you never surprise me, Priscilla, on how cute you are. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to stand these little paintings back on here. What's Lainey called now? I missed that. I love, I love the heart pictures. Okay. <clears throat> and the, yeah, this was that hard bookmark <clears throat> that I made. I just cut it up into these little pictures to show you on here. And I love it. I love these. They came out so cute. How cute are these just to set, like, seriously, on a little entrance table in your office? And you can make these. You can make these. All right, so I'm going to set these out of the way because now I'm going to teach you how to make the one with the newspaper rolls. Or the, not newspaper, what's the word? Magazine rolls. So um, this one is a little bit different but not a whole lot, but it's the whole bigger art and it's heavy, it's heavier. So this one, the first thing we're gonna do is get our frame shape. Um, and the magazine rolls, I showed you how to roll them last week. I'll show you again uh, real quick here. You just take a page out of a magazine. You come at it on a 45 degree angle Catch it and roll it. Yeah, it's a good one to do. The student is if the roll because you can use just about anything. Roll this up. Like we say, if you got a lot of like worn out pens or felt tips you can, and, and things you can like do that. This with newspapers, sheet yeah. music, you, anything you real catalogs, like your everything. Sears catalog, anything Jump like around. that. Yep. This is the best. Oh, the address is on our website. Just go to our website, the 1870studio.com. It's There's all a link over in the bio. Yeah, links in our bio. <clears throat> you definitely want to send and get some free art from us. And if the bio thing's playing up, just click back and click it again. Okay. On my phone, it went to a blank well, just, page. Just on another browser, just go to the 1870.com. <clears throat> <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here is a little bit different than I made my other ones. <laughs> I'm gonna take, oh, isn't he the best? I do have a sweet hubby. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna roll a little bit. Just gonna roll. Over the thicker one I get mm -mm. Just gonna roll and then I'm gonna take that out. And this is just to give it a little, fo a little foot. Nope, we're making easels tonight. We just made these little easels and if he can't, just came on, this replay is going to be on our YouTube channel tomorrow. Um, you'll be able to see it all. We're making, oh, thanks, Kitty Cat, though. making all kinds of little easels. Okay. You got St. Oh, Rosie's. Thank, thank you. you. So um, this, I want to roll it up just to give it a little foot. And I'm going to just put a little bit of glue right here. Right there. And then I'm going to roll this up just so we have a little foot on the end of our... Thanks for sharing. A little foot on the end of our easel. I'm gonna hold that for a minute. I'm gonna hold it. This will last for ages, 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 this ages. This is where if you're making up two or three at a time, you can use a peg to hold it and leave it lie on the table. Yeah, a clothes peg, a clothes pen. So you can see, see there how much I've rolled up. Now you have your other one that you can use as your guide for how much you want to roll up. Again, I just like to start it with a stick. Start your roll up with the stick. And then I like to get the stick the heck out of there. I know my big hands are in the way in here. 
not being able to see probably. Oh yeah, you can you can make so many things out of this. Jewelry, bowls, um, I make all sorts of things out of magazines. Tonight we're making easels for the free artwork that I want to send you if you send us a, a self-addressed stamped envelope. So now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to make these even, right? That one's on the floor. I know the one, the one unrolls a little bit. I like it, <laughs> but there, <laughs> okay, that there dolls ain't crazy with them we have our little curly Q feet on these. Oh my gosh, <clears> that's adorable. So now here, what I'm going to do is take this, lay this down, just like we did with our sticks and you can mix, you can use, you can use sticks, you can use old paint brushes. You can make easels out of any of this stuff. So I want this one to spread about four, four inches, maybe. So I'm going to just hold it like this, right? Make sure my top's there. That's weird. Miss Reba said you had to go out and in because she heard another guy talking. Huh. Random. It's just me and Martin here. Just the two of us. Okay, so now I'm going to hold this. I'm going to hold this till that, um, what's that called? It's Hot glue. Hot glue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so up here, I'm going to take this top one. I'm just going to bend this back. I'm going to bend that back and squeeze. Yeah, sheet music looks good. I'm going to bend that back and squeeze. We're just wanting to get our V, upside down V right now. Hi in Michigan. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, have our upside down V. And when you make your rolls like this sort of thing too, you can use this. This is one that I rolled up the whole way. You can use this as, um, as like a little header. Yeah, you take the stick this. out, you you use the, the stick to roll it yeah, with and then take it out. Yeah, use the stick over and over. Use that stick over and over. So there we have, that's super nice and sturdy. I make people out of these. I make, honey, where is that little one that I made of the kids? Huh? The little dancer that I made for Maggie? No, nah, I wouldn't know. I don't know what um, you're you can, you can do all kinds of things with this. We are making... Um, we're make an easel. Okay, so now this one, this one's going to be on the back. We need to roll our foot down. Roll our little foot down. Take it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. And then what I like to do is start putting glue on as I'm rolling. Hi, Becca. The white glue. And this one's going to be a little shorter than the front, so I can roll the foot a little bit wider. Because we want it to be able to lean back. It's leaning back and taking it easy, honey. Hi to everybody that's joining. Priscilla's using <laughs> paper rolls you at the moment to make little them. easels to put pictures on the if Did you send we got we got a million likes yesterday and uh, if you send a self-addressed stamped envelope and uh, remember the stamp don't forget the stamp or we can't send it <laughs> but uh, if you send that out Priscilla's going to put a small and it could be anything from it could be from that size to whatever she's got lying about a bigger piece but uh, if you send us an envelope, she'll send yep. you a piece book, of artwork. Book pages back. work too. Okay, so here I'm going to start looking at the back of this. It's basically any scrap paper at all. This one here is, I think it's a Boy Scouts magazine, isn't it? I don't know. It's, Boys it's, Life, it's an old magazine and you can use like a, the, like you oh, get nice. the stuff coming in for like advertising magazines and stuff, uh, junk mail, 
a hopefully our snow will be gone when you come PA okay so this one I'm happy with the size for that that's gonna be our back foot creative says they want to live here <laughs> <laughs> it's cozy and that one has gone wonky it still looks neat it still looks neat yep <clears throat> but this one here i'm gonna roll it down just a little bit so it's it's firmer at the top i want it to be firmer at the top so it meditation. Much. i'm gonna actually just do this i'm just gonna fold or something like fold. that with the hot glue work quicker the hot glue definitely would work quicker you're a smart man uh, I'm not really sure why I would be playing Irish music on uh, the YouTube when I'm from <laughs> Scotland. He's, he's <laughs> Scottish. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue here to hold that. To hold that one. But that little, that little twirl is cool. Uh, you've not I done the book folding twirl. yet, have you? I've done it, but not on a live. Uh, that's okay. That's we do okay, live in a spiritual. church. Is a lot of people mistake my accent. It's better than being called the other country. Martin. <laughs> okay, so this now we're gonna stand this up, but we want it. We want it to lean back enough to um to hold to hold what it is that we're putting on. So back here now. Can you see that? Can you see what I'm up to here? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm going to take this. This is ideal for the grandkids. You can make loads of... You can even oh, make can bowls so with this, Becca. Uh, so many uh, different you things. You can take them and, like... I uh, can't reach them. But Priscilla's done them that you take all the little discs that you make up out of the, the, pa the paper rolls. Discs. And uh, you lay them out and glue them together, and you can make bowls. I'm putting plates, that one on the back. You name it. And that guy, I have him. <laughs> He's gone crazy. Uh, that one. What's that? Where the do you one. live then? Yeah, we're in uh, a place called Locust Gap. In the mountains of Pennsylvania. Yeah, Priscilla's got the accent, no me. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, now these ones these ones I'm gonna take and fold this and you can also you can also fold to make little easels too did you answer a question easels in Marlon's be... TikTok sorry she, she was frozen and she thought you might have answered the question uh, Marlon we don't see. know if you ask it again she could we'll, we'll, I didn't see it if, uh, if you were oh here yeah. I love paper have you tried book folding I do book folding. I've taught I've taught book folding workshops too at um, at the library. I love it. Okay, so Morton had the great idea, <laughs> and it is a great idea, honey, of using hot glue. So I'm gonna go here with some hot glue. I'm gonna come back here, put that on, and the hard part is just being patient for a minute for it to cool because we want to make this all stick together it's all going to stick together you can take ribbon and wrap around here cord yarn you know you can do so many cool things with this but right now i'm just trying to keep it like a nice little triangle here and I think what I'm going to do is go ahead, since I'm holding, put it here and hold from this side, too. And this one, I'm putting it down low because these are going to become what we set our artwork out on. These pieces. We're going to just let them stick forward for now. Just let that stick forward. But you want to try to keep them level. And I'm sitting up on a box right here. 
I feel like I'm not level. I think Priscilla's got several videos of how we first met. Oh, so many. Yeah, I love telling that story. And this is kind of a skew, kind of asymmetrical, mm. but I love things like that. Okay, so let that cool for a second. Um, now, this little back leg, look how my back leg has gone crazy here. Can you see that? He's gone crazy, so I'm going to just take this little tail Somebody's and see asked, if I can't glue him down. Somebody's saying they know you do meditation, but do you do grounding? I don't know what that is. I think that's when um, you put a wire you say on it. No, I don't know truthfully what it is. I walk outside in my bare feet all the time, even in the winter. <laughs> Don't it's I? grounding when they put the earth strap on. I don't know. Because I saw somebody is. doing that before they went to bed. I it's don't like know. they put an earth strap on themselves. I, but I hug don't know trees. what it is. I feel <clears throat> real energy from trees. Okay. I'm loving how this whole curly cue back here. He just became organically gorgeous. I love him. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this big fat one that Martin made for here but I'm gonna fold it in half. Fold it in half. And I'm going to just here, put some of the white glue okay, cat dog down through the center. The wire. Okay, yeah, I've never tried that. I'm gonna put the white glue through there, and then here at the end, I'm gonna just put a little bit of hot glue. So it, it'll instant hold it. It'll instantly hold it. And this is really nice because it gives you, um, I'm gonna fold this over here just to make it neat. It gives you a place for your art to sit. See how this has this little, this on it? So you're gonna set that here. Gonna glue that in place. Make sure we're level. Well, thank you, Scully. Gotta be you level. Got thank you. <clears throat> put some more glue right here. Push this in here. And that end needs up a little bit. <laughs> Becca's saying they thought their hot glue gun was a mess. They're glad they're not <laughs> the only one. <laughs> oh, this hot glue gun works. Is that the it? hot one or is that the, the, um, the lower temp one? I truthfully couldn't. Is that the it. one that burns your fingers? Probably. She's got I'm two. Super, She's got one that uses the lower temperature sticks. I fell down. I fell down today walking up to the stage. I was going back to the studio, and I tripped on the step, and oh, I fell hard, didn't I? I smashed a metal rack. I I don't know if you can see it here. You'll be able to see it tomorrow. I have a huge. Um, there's a huge lump right here. My leg is so sore. Other than that, I'm perfect. <laughs> so here, uh, I can roll this little guy up. I think I'll do that. I'll just roll him up. And there is no right or wrong way to do this. I don't remember you snipped it off. Yeah, I'm sore. No, this will be good. If you stick it right down, it sort of restricts the way be good. what you put on it is. No, no, no. Lucky. He's tucked down nicely. And it just gives it a little bit of firmness. Just a little firmness. Yeah, I'm sore. Feel better, Martin sorry. had given me some painkillers earlier. What was it, honey? Ibuprofen. Um, but that's worn off. Oh my gosh, my leg hurts so bad. So bad. And this little guy here, I'm going to just glue him up too. Glue them up. Not that. That one's way too big, honey. Nah. Oh. Babe, it's way too big. This one will work. <laughs> this one will work. That one actually fits perfectly. Oh, really that one. Put it up there, babe. Let's show how strong it is. Oh, Martin. Watch what it'll do. It'll poke through the canvas here. Yeah, but it shows how strong the frame is. See? Babe. I love you, Martin. That's actually a stretched canvas that it was whole. <laughs> they are surprisingly strong. But then you can get creative with what you want to do, how you want to do it. Um, 
We and don't have a bathtub, so she can't <sighs> soak in a bathtub. No, I can take a hot shower. Um, I would, see how I did this one a little bit differently? I put this back here, but I think they're stronger when you make, when you make that, that happen. I think they're stronger. And see how this one down here, I put all of the little paper rolls. I used the little paper rolls on that one. This is the paper roll. Last, last Monday, look, this little guy here, I could set down here, I could turn him into a little bunny, but he's going on my organizer box. Honey, don't bump that leg. My leg is so sore. I'll show you my bruises. To, no, I won't show you my bruises. I don't like that when I see somebody's boo-boos. Oh, I want to show you a really cool idea. So remember, one of our lovely friends on TikTok sent us these little fairy lights. Now, I haven't done this yet, <laughs> but I'm going to do it now. I'm going to take a little fairy light and switch the little fairy lights on. What do you need? Um, I need this guy. So I'm going to take this and I actually, I kind of want to wrap the back as well. Let's get that out of the way. I just want to wrap this. I got it. I got it all glued. It's all good. I want to wrap this with fairy lights. And you can wrap. I'm going to turn this light off. Oh, <laughs> that's better. You can wrap this any way you want to. That's no true, right way. It looks like the Eiffel Tower. It does. <laughs> I was thinking that too earlier. There's no right way, no wrong way. Oh, I love fairy lights, don't I, honey? Hmm. I love them. <clears throat> I am crazy for fairy lights. Oh, Morton, it's looking so beautiful. I'm gonna keep just going this way and that way. That little stick sticking out is proving handy. You can wrap this around. I'll turn the lights back on and show you them. How great this looks. Fairy lights. They answer to everything. Doesn't even matter what the question was. The answer is always fairy lights. Mm. That's like Priscilla Becca is saying that their friends think it's so weird because they like fairy lights, <laughs> LED light and everywhere. It's like this place, we've yes. got them all over. That was what was disappointing. Outside, they looked absolutely brilliant. We had like the, all along the guardrail and everything for the... the Honey, they're still there. For the uh, ramp, for the disabled ramp. Oh, yes. And when squirrels went and chewed through the wires. Oh, look at this. And because the little battery pack, like I could set this on a wood slice. I could set that on a little wood slice and then you hide this. How cute. How cute is that? I gotta yeah, turn. Priscilla's is a Pennsylvanian accent. Mine's from it, just outside Edinburgh. It's I gotta fun. turn the bright light back on so you can see. I, watch your eyes. Sorry. It's bright. How adorable is that, Martin? Mm -hmm. Isn't it great? I love it. I'm going to add one more stick to here because this thing dips down. I'm going to get a real straight stick. I think you need to take the sectors and cut a no. bit off. No, 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 it no. It was no, tipping no. forward there. Was yeah, off. because of this guy. All right. Perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> I'm going to put another, I want to put another real straight one in there. 
the one that I have in there has a little dip to it. Like the ones with the little dips, they're good for the, um... There's, there's one of the Scottish thistles that she done. This is oh, on honey. Strips Canvas. This one is nice and straight. She's got loads of paintings all over the place. I like to paint. I like to do every craft. I can't help myself. Oh, that's a good straight one right there. But I kind of don't want to glue over my... I'm not going to put it on. He's holding nicely. He's holding really nicely. Okay, I'm going to turn this back off. 744. And we got all done quick tonight. Oh my goodness. I could keep showing you how to make them out of so many different Easels, things. Nancy. I can show you how to make them out of so many different things. Um, if you have old paintbrushes that you don't use anymore. Felt pens, markers. Anything. Like chopsticks. I don't know where that wooden dowel came from. Not sure. Kind of feels like bamboo. You can uh, even use, if you've got an electrical project you're doing, any of the offcuts of the heavy-duty wire, the really stiff copper, you can strip the plastic and, and use it. Does anybody... Honey, move the blue lady closer. I'll have that. She makes a nice light. Oh, she's bright. She's super bright. She might be too bright. Yeah, she's too bright. She's fused glass. But she is bright. <laughs> we'll set her over there. So you can see what we've been making. And does anybody have any questions? Um, and this, I did these on purpose tonight because I want you to send us self-addressed stamped envelopes I want to send you art, and then you'll know how to make little easels to display your art. Or to have, um, you can display your art or put it in a frame. I did a YouTube about framing art with an old, I don't want to cover you up, my love. Uh, we had our dinner, we had courgettes and uh, there. some mushroom soup. Hopefully, I love this one the best. With some of the disastrous the... peanut butter things I made last night. Honey, they were yummy. They weren't disastrous. I love it. What do you think of this? Is anybody going to try these? I hope. I hope. Look how gorgeous they are. They're so whimsical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you go to the YouTube channel, Firefly. Firefly says JK. That's yeah. just kidding, honey. I thought that was maybe rolling. She was referring <laughs> writing fairy tales. <laughs> no, I've got the kilt. Unless I stripped it yes, off. Yes, Miss Reese is going to try them. Martin's in his kilt. Stand up, honey. Give him a little kilt show. Martin's in his kilt. It's the casual one using the Bonnie Prince Charlie's kilt with a casual sporing, uh, a rustic sporing and the uh, shoes and stuff. And we made this. Yeah, we got a kit and made that. And I've got the... Honey, it's not even closed. Yeah, it doesn't help. I had my phone in it, didn't I? And we've got the ski and do that goes in the sock. That's the... Where's your kilt pen? Here. I, I don't think I'll get in trouble when you saw no, what people were up to matter. earlier on. Don't show that. That's the Is knife you put in your... And that's sea glass that I made for Martin. Yeah, that the little... brooch. I lost my kilt pen. Okay. He did, he lost his, he lost his kilt pen. I had made him one. Remember what it was, honey? It was that <coughs> sword out of um, the wire and that cool piece of pottery. Yeah. We're in Pennsylvania. Oh, and thanks for the follow. Somebody just followed. Yeah. 904. Thank you for following. What was that when I see the legs? Uh, <laughs> <sighs> yes, I, I love the little one with the fairy lights. is my favorite because I did put like side arches on there. It looks so adorable. 
You can make little gazebos out of this little... We're in U.S. We're in Pennsylvania. Yeah, and then the ski and new goes in your sock on the right-hand side. Morton's my Scottish souvenir. Aren't you, babe? Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> she kid, kidnapped me and brought me over to Martin, America. Don't oh, say she didn't say words like, like that. that. We'll get into trouble. <laughs> Morton. <laughs> Oh, Morton does look handsome, doesn't he? I wish he wears you. kilt all the time. Um, the guys in Scotland, uh, we're an hour north of Harrisburg. Yeah, make a, you can make a gazebo for your fairy garden and look, you can put fairy lights on it. How great is that? You can, I've made little arches out of these, little fairy ladders. Um, just you can do anything with these little sticks, and I like to get, I like to get them and cut them up in piles um, to have my by size. So, oh, after a long hard day at work, it's nice to lay down and watch you and your husband. It's so calm. Thank you, thank you. Morton and I just watched this little TikTok earlier, and it was about the four things to do to have a happy relationship. This doctor was saying. We do all of them, don't we? Yep. So I guess that's it. <laughs> Martin, he, I wish he'd wear his kilt all the time. I wish he would. But he doesn't. In Scotland, they don't just walk around wearing them either. You only wear them for, like, weddings, don't you, honey? Mm -hmm. You don't wear them for funerals. Well, when you consider you? a decent kilt around 500, well, it was 500 pounds when I bought this one. And that was second hand. <laughs> yeah, he Morton does look so good <clears throat> in the kilt. Um, the um, mystery Monday. I think we only have one, one or two more Mondays in mm. January, but we're gonna keep doing mystery Monday. We're going to Florida in February. It's our anniversary. Love you too, lady. Um, it's our twentieth anniversary on Valentine's Day. We're forever on our honeymoon. I. I have been getting asked so much how long have we been steps. married because people, um, 500 pounds was like $650 then, Ms. Reba. But um, uh, the, um, when we go to Florida, we're still going to do Mystery Monday crafts with you. And yeah, Morton made these rolls tonight. This could almost be a musical instrument to mm -hmm. listen. Are you going to dance? No, dear. It could be a musical instrument, these could. This is a casual wear. I've got the rest of the outfit. It was originally the Bonnie Prince Charlie outfit, which was a dress jacket with uh, a, the waistcoat and bow tie. And I've got some neat shirts to go along with that. Are I've got these coconuts? shirts that they look like uh, tuxedo Thanks, shirts. Perky. But when you actually take your jacket off, the sleeves in the back of the shirt are like completely Honey, light. We should do a kilt short, all a right. kilt shirt tour. Morton has all these kilt shirts, and um, we should definitely do like a tour. I'll, I'll do a video and a little tiki talk. Hi in Kentucky. And make <laughs> make, Tannersville. make Morton. Do you know where that is? Uh huh. Hey Tannersville. Dance for us. Hi. We <laughs> he don't, doesn't dance. We don't do classes at the moment, but you might be, you don't In know. In April. Yeah. April. <clears throat> but February, we're going to go down for a couple weeks to Florida. Oh my gosh, do I ever have an exciting thing for you that we're going to do when we go there. Jamie, how cool are they? They're perfect for displaying your art. I are, My nephew just contacted me. He is... I'm not going to tell them where. He's taking us somewhere amazing. You're going to get to go, too. Uh, Morton, do the women in Scotland wear a traditional outfit? Okay. Yeah, so... Well, they do when they're doing, like, Highland like dancing tartan, and stuff. Tartan, uh, it's like a... It's, it's, a, it's not a kilt. It's like a tartan dress or skirt. And uh, there, there's a distinct difference. If you see a kilt and a, a skirt... Like, if you're standing next to you, there's a distinct difference between the two of them. Right. Although a lot of people keep saying to me, oh, what are you wearing a skirt for? It's not a skirt. There's a big difference. <laughs> and uh, 
It's yeah. the, so <laughs> I think people just say that to wind you and up. So, yeah, for the traditional Highland dancing and stuff, the, the girls will wear, like, the, the plaid uh, dresses and skirts. Best, so. If you look it up online, Highland dancing, rolls. you'll see them the, in the traditional outfits that way. These are good to... Di <clears throat> I display 8x10 um, canvases on these. But what's quite strange with the kilt is, is like historically what's funny is when you watch films like uh, Braveheart, they're totally historically inaccurate. Definitely the kilt, the kilt didn't them. come about till I think it was about the 13th or mm -hmm. 14th century. Up, and girl. when Braveheart happened, there was no such thing Yay! as a kilt. You got your painting today and you love it. Hooray! I love it, I love it, I love it. Wonderful, wire wonderful. Wrap, what, the frames, yeah, I would think so. definitely. Yeah. You could do wire wrapping and beads on here. Jamie, if you haven't followed Jamie's creations, Jamie is like the queen of wire wrapping. She makes the coolest, coolest wire wrap things and rings. Follow her, check her out, shop her shop. Um, but Jamie, <clears throat> start with your little sticks glue them and I have some that I had I would take copper wire and wrap on um, and I used to sell these um, well I still do sell them but I don't ship these because they're really hard to pack like this is really sturdy but I just don't want it to get crushed Chris is saying they used to make them in the 70s to make pencil holders yes definitely you can, I have told people, and Bobby gave me the challenge, and I'm going to do it. I can build a house out of these and these, the cardboard boxes that you could sleep in. <laughs> I want to do that. Yeah, there's a lot of places um, in America have the Highland Festival. Oh, Grandfather so. Mountain, you're in North Carolina. I've been to that one, Becca. Morton down in, it's near Boone, North Carolina. Right. Um, they have a giant Scottish fest that festival Daniel's there. Daniel's place. Yeah. Daniel Boone's place, is it? No, Boone North... Well, yeah, I think it maybe it was named after Daniel Boone. Thanks, Madeline. Hi, Madeline. I, ha I have the jaunty blue on. <laughs> the blue sweater. And yeah, the frizzy hair. you anything, dear. Oh, Martin, you old charmer. She throws on an old sack and looks beautiful. <laughs> Oh, Martin, Northeast Tennessee. Boone's 45 minutes. Boone is so cool. I love Boone. Um, my, I'm going to blame um, my bad hair on... I just had to take my hair down because I had a, head, had a headache so bad. Um, Scottish Festival. Morton's been to a couple. Yeah, we open went to the one in Bethel. It's painful oh, open sometimes. Open up an envelope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sweater was a dollar. Martin yeah, is a charmer. We do teach classes here. Pro watch our website for our schedule. In April, we're going to have a three-day open weekend. And I'll do... I'll pro the next I'm, time you're pruning your bushes, these are made out of the sticks from the garden. I might... Um, With I'll have hot little, glue. I'll have little walk-in workshops going on for our next event. So... Um, yeah, these are for the paintings that I'm giving away. I want to show you how to make them. So if you didn't get to watch the whole, if you didn't get to watch this whole live, the replay will be on our um, YouTube channel. Learn how to make them. I'll be perfectly honest. I've never heard of Queen Scathaca. I'll have to look that one up. Yeah, well, we apparently won't... Scotland's named after Scota, who was apparently a. An Egyptian princess, believe it or not. We want to go to um, the Isle of Skye. Cambria, thank you. I love I love this because it's like the ultimate recycled art and craft. Yeah, and if you've got old uh, you put your felt pens, markers, it. or anything, you can use them too. Just put your little... Chopsticks, felt adorable. pens, dowels, wire. The YouTube channel is the same. Name Thanks is for the this, roses. and you can also, if you click on the link in our bio, it has all our social media stuff there. Uh, the circle behind us, that's, that is a mirror that I got for $3 <laughs> and refurbed it, and it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous mirror. Um, honey, say turn on Tiki Room. Alexa, turn on Tiki Room.
everybody's Alexa will be doing stuff now. Do you see the, Sorry, everybody. Do you see the pipes lit up? It reflects the tiki room, the, the pipes. Uh, so enjoy your meditation, Melso. Yeah, the the tree branches, you know, everybody ha you find a branch that fell down when you're walking in the woods. And you're not restricted um, to the size you could make because yeah, likes of the make, uh, look, likes of that paper one that she made. It's like that. How big that look is. At this, you can do the same with the branch, sticks. This branch is about six feet tall. Honey, I want to save this one. You keep trying to take my eyes off it. <laughs> but like this right here, that could be your easel part. And I'll do that on a branch. I'll cut that natural Y and then cut this here. And that'll be my the front A for my easel. You don't think <clears> it's <throat> A for easel, but it's A for easel. They're, they're actually really neat to use at craft shows as well. Yeah. And they're, they're an interesting one to sell at a craft show I as well. I usually have, I usually, I have all these little paintings, business card holders, definitely. I have all these little paintings. Send us a self-addressed stamped envelope. I will send you original artwork. Stamped being the most important yeah, part. Make sure you got a stamp on it. And then you're... Yeah, it's from the garden. Yeah, you're going to be able to, you will know how to make these... So when you get my little piece of artwork that I send to you, you can display it. <laughs> yeah, at craft shows. I sell I sell these when I have these out, I sell these for five dollars. They're popular and I sell I don't have any of them left right now. I sell I sell everyone I ever make in person. But it's a great way if you're an artist, even like if you if you make jewelry and sell jewelry. Look, put your little put a little, um, like Jamie makes these beautiful rings. You could put a ring there. You could put a bracelet around there, and it's a really cool little, a nice little sturdy way to display your stuff. These oh, I love oh, them. I'm gonna make one for the lambs. Love them. Yay. You can make magnets with the little pictures too, yes. And some of you, the little pictures that I send, although this is too heavy for a self-addressed stamped envelope, never mind. <laughs> I want to get back to where I used to paint stuff. I used to paint, I don't know if anybody remembers, but um, Hi, Carbon, you Carbon. used to say, like we'd look at something and you would say, uh, oh, I see a duck or whatever. And then I would draw that. I miss doing that with you. I miss, I, I know we do watercolor Wednesdays, but I typically, I typically come to the table but the with other an thing idea. With these, the other thing as well with these projects is we had one night, it was, I got the job of tearing up the magazine <laughs> and then Priscilla was actually making the paper rolls mm -hmm. as I was doing that. So the two of us were working while we were watching television. We do so, that a lot. Yeah, it was, it's like... I uh, love doing it's, that. Because I find sometimes, you know, you spend two, three hours watching TV and you feel like, oh, it's a wasted night. <laughs> but you can actually be in the, like, process it's, stuff it's while NPT. you're doing it. NPT is um, non-productive time. And I used to always, because I was a oh, single thanks mom... thanks for the roses. Um... Yeah, thanks, Tina. I was a single <clears throat> mom. I wish I would have known more when my kids were little. Night, but, night, Chris. Um, Is that Chris that says? They're saying night, you night. Night, night. But um, I would I would do a lot of my making at night when my kids would be asleep. Or if we would be watching a Disney movie or something, I would be sitting there snipping wire or doing stuff to make my jewelry. So I'm used to doing like little projects like this now. I've been making these for about, I don't know, 30 years, I think. And um, this is the cutest one I've ever made with the little fairy lights on it. I'm gonna turn this off so you can really see them. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. And you can, you can make them into absolutely anything, but I just think they make the sweetest little easels. I think they're delightful. So did everybody have fun tonight? <laughs> did everybody have fun and did you learn something tonight? 
I hope. Yeah, they are. <laughs> it does. Tower. It looks like the Eiffel Tower. Tower. Yeah. I think it was a mystery bar, maybe mm -hmm. wrong. Did everybody get some inspiration and is everybody going to try something? And yes. remember, if you've not got time to make yeah, paper it's a rolls lot like the, the sticks, Eiffel Tower. you can use old felt pens, markers, anything yeah. really to make them with. Yeah. If you've got anything. chopsticks, uh, toothpicks, uh, bamboo skewers, anything. Yay! <clears throat> Awesome, Miss Reva's rolling now. Yay! Yeah. And uh, Diane is going to do something. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, what yes. was that? We got sent. Oh, finger hurts. I think. Uh, thoroughly inspired every time you watch the lives. Yay! That's what we want. We want to. Um, we want to. Hopefully, Morton's inspiring people to cook, bake, tackle projects, and. Um, Hopefully, I'm inspiring you to get creative and make something. Do something. Do something fun. And this was this. These are so much fun to make. You're gonna love them. You are gonna love them. Yay! Hooray! Hooray! And I was thinking earlier. I had asked the question of what TikTok does. TikTok give you anything when you get a million likes? But honey, guess what? Oh. TikTok does give you something they give you a, a million different times somebody liked what we did enough to click that button mm. how great is that it's yep. such a wonderful feeling so they give you this great feeling <laughs> oh even your husband now recognizes and loves you Madeline, thank you. Oh, kitty cat. I don't thank really you. do any lives. I do it with Priscilla. <laughs> I post videos like if I'm doing baking and stuff like that. But it's like the for me to do lives, it's like uh, I'm usually running a chainsaw well, or something like that. So other, it's like kind of dodgy. The other thing is Morton's phone is so bad. His phone is so bad. We're going. We We're not aware get, of a badge or anything. Eh? No, I was hoping that when I clicked the refresh, it would be like, "Yay, you got a million likes." You're welcome, Marsha. I would, I would have been happy just for that, but I'm just happy. I'm happy that a million times somebody liked what we did enough to click like. That's that's awesomely cool. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, better somebody than saying any, about the any. lives. I think they're meaning like me going live, but I don't really do it. Yeah, Morton's phone is not <clears> built <throat> to go live. Um, so, uh, uh, well, you can't. You like, tap the screen to like. Yeah, this you tap the screen to send likes. And you should likes, see little hearts flying but, up. Um, um, yeah, I think you know, just like something like, you've got you know, I think it would be fun. It would have been fun to take a screenshot. Hey, your average Jen. We made these gorgeous little uh, easels, and hopefully everybody's going to send us a self-addressed stamped and envelope with one. so I can send you free art. That and one then two you can, out the paper rolls. Then you can build your little easels, and this this live is going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, we'll be up on our YouTube channel forever and ever. And you can also follow as well if you're not following. Yeah, make sure you're following. And the other thing, um, yeah, what? A self send address, us a self-addressed stamped, stamped envelope. Most importantly, stick a stamp on yeah. it or we can't send it back to you. Yeah. Yay, you sent it today, Marsha. Thank you. I'm so excited to get, I'm so excited to get your letters in the mail. And then pick out something pretty to send you. Um, uh, you get a... You, you stick it in another you, envelope. You take an envelope and... Okay, so this... Let's pretend this is my envelope you here. You want me to get a couple of envelopes? Nope, this is my envelope here that I'm, that I'm going to mail to us. But in this one, this envelope, I'm going to put my name and address on it. You put your name and address on there and a stamp. And then just fold it. Put it inside this one and mail that to us. So when we so open it we, up, there's an envelope it up, inside it. We have an envelope from you that has a stamp on it with your address on it. Um, just because I want, I want to be able to. I'm going to put Morton on it 
Morton's gonna be sending you <laughs> Morton's gonna be sending me the art. And I love the thought of, of you guys it's, having a bit of my a bit of my a, if um, it's just a postcard one Priscilla, it's like just a first class stamp should yeah, be enough. Just, just a stamp. Just a stamp. If it's a normal size letter um, envelope. If it's if it's a four by six envelope, I'll try to put a piece of four by six art in it. If it's five by seven, I'll put five by seven on it. If it's a bigger envelope, you might need two stamps on it though. Um, but I really, really would like to do that. And did you see that, honey? Maria. On the yeah. baker? And you yeah, make that, that's bread. interesting that a baker says it like The house mine. smells so good when he's baking. Yeah, I was experimenting yesterday using chia gel, the, but our address, it didn't come out great. Our address is on our website, the 1870 studio, and the link's in our bio. I should have actually. So, you know that stuff that I made, the, I was trying to make the shortcut paste out of? See if I'd put the, the baking soda and stuff in that. That would have probably made the, the bannocks. Probably. All right. Well, we're gonna say nighty night. I Thank hope you. I hope you try to make a little easel, and I hope you send us a self-addressed stamped envelope that I can send you some art back, and you can send it if you want. If you want to send, if you want me to send a free piece mm -hmm. of art to your aunt Tilly, send another envelope in with yours that is addressed to your aunt Til Tilly. <laughs> And I will send her a little, a little piece of artwork too. And I have, uh, I have so many of these. They're really adorable little paintings that I painted when I was out in Arizona. My grandkids were in school, and I was bored. And I did so many little watercolor miniatures of landscapes of Scotland with little castles, <laughs> little sheep, and um, there's yeah, all kinds of paintings. From detailed paintings Thanks, everybody, and to abstract. So, yeah. Send send us a self-addressed stamped envelope. And thank you, everybody, for liking our videos and watching them. Uh, and if you missed how to make this little easel, easel wick, wick, wicked, um, the YouTube video will be up tomorrow. This whole live will be up tomorrow. So you can watch it anytime. And I've, I've made a lot of YouTubes today, too, so... Have a beautiful, beautiful evening. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> yes, have a beautiful evening. Thank you for being here. Morton, you stand up one more time. Show us that kilt. Hold on, let me turn this light on. Let's, oh, that's bright. Let me show you. Let me take this off of here. Good job, good job. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's switch you around here. I'll show you Morton in all his glory. Back up, babe. You're right on top of us. I don't know what that is. It's going to be Back up, babe. Paper clips in my pocket. Paper clips. There's the guy. Look at him. No lighter than that. <sighs> oh, here, honey. Now they can see your socks. Mm, they think they, they saw, they, oh, no, they're all right. The laces are in. There's the flashes the person was asking There's about. flashes. My sock pin, my kilt pin is missing. I lost that. That's the rustic sporing. And uh, the old rustic jacket and shirt. Your collar's not out, honey. Is it not? No. You're supposed to do that. I was for supposed me, to you know? do that for you. You've got a medal. <laughs> Get your collar out. Don't put it up like Count Dracula, though. I was thinking the phones. <laughs> the phones. The phones and the kilt. And there's the uh, pin that Priscilla made me. I made him that out of sea glass. <clears throat> and a mirror. Turn around, honey. Isn't it amazing? And the tartan is called Flower of Scotland. It's the National Rugby Team's tartan. Yes. And Coolestin doesn't have a tartan. I, would, I think it's the Douglas tartan that I would wear through the name Morton because that used to be my great-grandmother's second name, or surname, and we call it. So through that name, I would have wore the Douglas. They always say if you're choosing a tartan, Wear your mother's tartan, because you can be certain of who your mother was. That's true. That is true. Honey, what do you want to say to everybody? Cheerio now. And thanks for watching, thanks for everybody. everybody. Being here. Th yeah. Thanks for the gifts and thanks for all the likes. Yes, 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 definitely. And remember the stamp on your envelope. That's yes. the most important thing. Make sure you, as well make, as your address. Make sure you send us a stamp. Oh my gosh, my face is so bright red. Um, 
Make sure you send the stamped address, self, self-addressed self stamped envelope. What do you call it in Scotland? Self-addressed envelope. Well, self-addressed stamped envelope. It's the same as here. I thought you said it was different. An NCE is a self-addressed envelope. Self-addressed envelope. <laughs> but that's, it needs the stamp on it. So you say yes, self-addressed stamped sure, envelope. Make sure you send that and get your free art. Looky. Look. And it could be that size to like 5 by 8 depending on what she sticks in. So. Well, but yeah, but if you send me a tiny envelope, I can't send you art that big. But don't um, send us a huge envelope because you'll need two. You'll need two stamps well, they can, if you send I mean, a large envelope. They can send envelope. a huge envelope. Yeah, but they would need. I got more big stamps. paintings too. <laughs> the bigger oh, the envelope, the more stamps you would need. I'm organizing, and I want to give you art. <laughs> I think it's up to an ounce or something on a sixty-six. There, stamp. there is plenty. There's plenty for everybody. Just send us those envelopes, and everybody have a great evening. This video will be up on YouTube, yep, and I'm on. not saying you have to send it by whenever. You send me that stamped envelope anytime you want to. So this is 2023. January 2023. If you're watching this on YouTube in 2029 and I'm still alive, I'll still send you a piece of art. A self-addressed stamped envelope to the studio. Night, everybody. Thanks night, for night. being here. Thanks for being on our live. Bye-bye.